How you there? How's life? I hope you stay healthy and cool today. Well, now I'm in a beautiful place around Lake Toba. The name of this place is Pitsu. Yeah, I will have a small talk with someone. Someone special, I think. Actually, he was my student in an English course when he was still studying in a junior high school. And now, he's already studying in one of senior high schools in Swarmara. He loves English very much. As for me, he is very awesome too. Because, with simplicity, he has a big motivation to get a better future. Furthermore, he dares to be different from most of young people in their way of thinking. Now, I'm gonna take you to see how he gives his opinion to my questions about young people's life nowadays. So, let's check it out. Hi boy! Oh, hello sir. How are you? Oh, not so bad. Just another day in the pandemic. <laughs> yeah, hopefully the pandemic will go away soon and from this world. We will pray, 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 pray for you. Pray <laughs> well, in this beautiful place, yeah. first please introduce yourself to our brothers and sisters out there. Hello everyone. My name is Arifin Simbolon. I'm 18 years old. I'm a student of SMA Nagi Satu Siborong I live in Lobu Senegar, Siborong Okay, good. Now, let's start. Are you ready? Uh, I'm ready. Yes, okay. Their statement says life is a choice. What do you think of this statement and how do you choose things in your life? Life is a choice. It's an interesting statement and it's not difficult for us to understand the meaning of this statement. Because in life, we always have to choose something. And we have the right, we have the freedom to choose what we want to do, what we want to have in our life. And when it comes to choosing, there are only two categories of the options. It's bad, they are bad and good. When we want to do the good one, when we choose the good one, it requires something from us. But the other option, the bad option, it doesn't require anything. Even it offers something for us. Simply, it's just like the situation when you have sofa in front of you and you have a book on your table. In that way, the situation uh, offers you, uh, gives you two options. The first option, you can lay down your body on your sofa. The next option, you can start open and read the book. But as I said, to do the good things, it requires something. To read the book, it requires the power of your brain, the power of your eyes to understand the content of the book. But instead, another option, the bad option offers you something. Uh, you lay down your body on your, on your sofa, it requires you comfortness, it requires you enjoyment. But let's talk about the consequence. Even you spend your all day long laying down on your sofa, it gives you no benefit. It gives you nothing, but if you read the book, it probably enrich your insight, it make it better the way you see the world, or even make it better your reading skills. That's a life of a teenager, which full of uh, obstacles, full of temptation, full of challenge. We have tendency to choose the, the bad one because it offers us something, instead of choosing the good one because it uh, requires something from us. But it's your right. It's your right to choose what you want to do in your youth. It's your right to choose what you want to be in the future. It's your right to spend your youth uh, by having fun with your friend all day long, playing game all day long, laying down on your, on your sofa, on your bed. It's your right. But don't worry, it's just me. And the next is, how do I choose something? Before I choose something, before I decided to choose something or before I decided to do, do something, I think about the consequences. If it's good for me, I just do it. If it's not bad for the others, I just do it. Yeah. Okay. But uh, talking about teenagers, there yeah. are so many challenges that they are facing this time. One of them is the use of technology that can bring good effects but also bad effects at the same time. So what can you suggest to the youth or the people over there? Uh, what can I say for you is, 
Don't be the slave of your handphone. Don't be the slave of your gadget or another technology you have on your hand. Be the boss. Use your technology when you want and when you need it, not when you want it. Because we know that when we want to do something, it's un unsure that this will be for our goodness. It will be good for us. But when we need it, automatically it's for our our goodness. It's for, it's for to improve ourselves, to to find another information or to enrich our insight by using the internet. It's great. From this statement, it seems that you have a dream in your future, right? What do you want to be? Uh, surely, as a as a children of farmer, uh, I want to leave my family, my parents' name, and next, I want to be a light for another people. I want to be an inspiration for others to build their future, and also I want to open the world's eyes. I want to open their eyes that difference is beautiful. Mm. So I hope this video can bring an effect to our people over there and they can take the advantage of what we talk about. So I wish you good luck in your future. Thank you. Sir.